All right, guys, so we are here with Shayla, and I just made a big boo-boo, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm uh, aiming for. So I applied her first coat, and this one I blended, but for some reason, I didn't blend all of these. So I'm hitting them really quick because there was a straight line, and I don't want a straight line because this is gonna be under the glass. And I'm gonna grab my gold again, which is uh, Golden Nugget from the Gel Play. And I don't want to put a whole bunch more on there. Let's get a white. Um, I don't want to put a whole bunch more on there because I um, I want it to look even from the other hand. But I'm just going to dab it on and just blend it in. Ignore the saw in the background. My husband's making a new pedicure bench, so it's a bit noisy. Um, so I'm just grabbing just the slightest bit just to blend this up because I had a straight line. So that was not what I wanted. I want this to disappear um, and be just a quick blend. So I'm just gonna do this real quick and then we will freeze it and go into the glass and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, too much, too much, too much. I want this up here to stay pretty clear because I'm gonna have the glass up there. So yeah, I hit this with a file. I didn't remove the tacky layer at all. So this is still tacky and this is still tacky and this middle has just a little bit of filing because I needed to get rid of that straight line. It was, it was not pretty. So, doing this real quick. All right, so now we have them all blended pretty good. And this is Shayla, so I want to say hi, Shayla. Hey, everybody. Shayla loves y'all. <laughs> she likes to watch the videos, too. Mm -hmm. All right, so everything's blended. Let's get that in the light. So I'll show you on her other hand what's going on. So we've already done this. Check that out. <gasps> so hot. <laughs> so cool. So what I'm going to be using here is the um, Options Glass Green. This came out uh, last year, this collection. And I, we don't have any more of the mini kits. When a new collection comes out, we have the mini kits for a short, limited time, and then we don't have them. But you can buy them individually. And this is what it looks like. It looks dark in the pot because the pot rimming is all black, but it is see-through. So that's had enough time in the light. And um, you can grab quite a bit of this. You don't have to try to make it thin or anything. And I'm gonna push it up. I wanna try to just get one nice, even layer. You could do two thin layers, but I just find it faster to just do one really good solid layer. She says that she thinks her sons are gonna call these Hulk nails. <laughs> like so, the Hulk, mommy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've done this with glass blue over silver, but we were going to St. Patrick's Day, so I was like, oh, let's throw it over some gold. And so we get a little bit of the gold shining through. And then we're actually gonna hit it with a little bit of foil too, because why not? because we like some good shine. So this, these glass colors are amazing. If you're sculpting a new set, you can really do you know, the full glass effect where you have a completely clear tip. Um, and I, I don't do that too often, because A, I don't do full sets often, but B, within weeks, you're gonna see the grow out. So I would probably try, or you would see their natural nail growing underneath. Um, so I'd probably try to find a way to mask it, maybe having the clear from here to here, but then maybe doing something in the middle to mask the little bit that's uh, that's gonna show up when it grows out, because that would drive me a little bit crazy. <laughs> I'd find a way. There'd be some, I'd do some black or something just to kind of right where it's gonna show the natural nail. What is that? So I must add it a little bit too much right here of the gold and I'm just going to smooth that out there we go I'll finish filing that later but just want to get that out of my way Shayla had a fun blue on blue stamp oh it was the, the hotness <laughs> <laughs> that we did uh, last time. All right, green glass. So again, I'm grabbing quite a bit because it's clear, it's gonna cure really, really well. Um, you don't have to worry about not getting a good amount, 
but if I do it too thin, I'm not going to get the kind of color depth that I want. So I'm grabbing just quite a bit on there and moving that on the nail to get the color that I am looking for. Very cool. Kind of has a neat metallic towards the tip and then as it grows out it's just going to be like clear right there on the nail bed. It's really cool. So I'm going to grab a good amount. See how much I got on there? It's not focused but there's a bunch. Because it's much easier to work with a lot of gel than it is a little bit. So I'm pushing this back towards cuticle. And I'm going to float this down over the nail. Grabbed a little bit more because I want a good deep green. I don't want it to be too see-through. You could, I mean, you could actually take your brush if you wanted to and remove some of the color on the tip and have the gold really show through. But since we're going to be touching this with some gold, we didn't need that. We're going to add some gold on top. Some shiny gold. There we go. In the light, please. And she has chosen, which one did you choose? Yeah. This one? Mm -hmm. So she's chosen this pretty foil. So when it comes to foils, the backs look different depending on where they're coming from. And so I have a bunch coming out and they have different backs. You don't know how they're gonna stick to the tacky layer until you touch them. These stick really good. Check that out. Do you want it over the whole nail or just kind of dabbed here and there like that? Perfect. We're just going to dab it here and there, kind of towards the tip and a little bit maybe up the side, but we don't want to cover everything because we want to keep that green as the star of the show a little bit. Oh, there's a little much up there. So if you get too much in spot, wipe it off. If it doesn't wipe off, like that didn't want to wipe off, I just take a wipe with a little bit. There we go. I think that's the sound of happiness. <laughs> hey, sure is. We love when clients make uh, sounds of uh -huh. happiness. I do it when I eat too for the rest of the day. <laughs> A little too much right there, so I just want to remove that. You hey, stick Becky. super good. Oh, this is cool. And we got Kim. Hi, Kim. I am working until five or six tonight and then I can chat with people but I got clients back to back to back to back to back until later tonight so um, I can try to answer texts here and there during the day depending on if I get a break I might need to go to the bathroom though so <laughs> sometimes that's what I do for my break <laughs> or get a cup of water or have a snack um, but my breaks typically are just the amount of time um, between clients which there isn't typically much of so um, but I will work with you. I, I don't work tomorrow, so that's very helpful. And orders after wouldn't ship out until uh, Monday or Tuesday anyway. So um, we will work with you, Kim. We will make it happen. Hello, Becky. <laughs> Who else is in here? Miss Cindy Grohowski from New Jersey. Well, hello, Cindy from New Jersey. <laughs> So this is just Luxio Gloss. This is my go-to everyday gloss. I like the viscosity of it a little bit better than Shine On for me. Um, I know a lot of you really love Shine On. Shine On is great for some things, but for everyday, I really, really like Luxio Gloss. Look, I look at a little bit of green in here, so I'll show you what I do with that at the end of my service. Because I don't leave it like that. Mm -mm, no, ma'am. Absolutely never. I do not. That is not okay. Okay, get the thumb real quick. Make sure those that foil is all nice and all nice and covered up good. All right. Oh, big disaster. All right. So we must have not gotten this in the light quite as fast as I thought, or when I was working on the thumb this all ran because there was too much so before I gloss this one I am going to fix this mess because uh -uh, that's not okay so pull the skin away if this happens to you because you put so much on and then you didn't freeze it I probably should have frozen 
those for the amount of gel I was putting on and it's a bit runny and it's getting warmer in here. So I should have frozen that. Um, so if you have a disaster like this, I don't take the tacky off. I'm just filing around the sides, make sure everything is good and smooth. Get that out of the cuticle. We don't want that, that is bad news bears. Same here is a little bit. I should have frozen this before I did the thumb because I spent too much time on the thumb and then this all went and just pooped itself down the side. That's never, never good. We don't want to see gel slipping away. Knocking stuff over. I broke an, I broke an oil bottle today. That never happens either. So I'm gonna get all of these fixed before I get the gloss on. It'll make my life easier. It'll make the gloss look better too. So if you ever do this with color where you get a little bit in the side, just get in there with your file. Make sure you're taking your edges off your file really, really well because if you have a sharp edge on your file, you I'm knocking things down today like no other. Uh, if you have sharp edges on your files, this is when you're gonna cut them, when you're getting in there on that side wall and trying to make sure that that is correct. So taking the edges off your files is vital. And if you don't know how to do that, let me know and I will post a video on it. I think I have before, but I will be happy to do another one if you don't want to have to look for it. All right, I think I got those out of there pretty good. Now we may continue with gloss because that's not allowed. But what I'll do instead is I will just show how these turn out and um, I'm gonna wipe this real quick. And then I'm gonna show you the same thing on this one. So this one, I only had one nail that had that little bit of runoff. And so after I remove it, hi Erin, hi Jess. Um, after I remove my gloss, where was that spot? Is it on this nail? Yeah, here it is. So same thing, this one just had a little tiny bit, so glossing it was fine. And then after I remove the gloss, I'm just gonna go around and make sure that this is perfectly smooth because no bueno. <laughs> She's being really loud. As long as you're okay. Mm -hmm. She likes Jared. Oh, I love Jared. <laughs> All right. I go around the edges, around the sides. This is my finish. Oh, my gloss got over here. No bueno on that. Not okay. So when you deal with longer nails, you might deal with more things like this. So you guys are seeing, <laughs> you guys are seeing all kinds of technique in one shot right here. And I want to make this smooth because you don't want anything for your clients to be picking at. <laughs> she knows this very well. <laughs> so, and I don't want it to be growing out and having a big ledge or anything like that. I want it to be totally smooth. So just very carefully, you can finish file the whole nail, but you don't need to. This is over in the corner. You can't tell that there's no shine in that one little spot. It's not gonna bother anybody, but you do wanna make sure that it's clear out of there. So you can also go through with your pusher and clean this spot and say, okay, this still gets stuck right there. See how that gets stuck right there? That's not good. You can hit that or if you want to get even more precise in that area, you can grab your e-file and this lovely little bit, which is one of my favorite bits. Get that on your e-file and just get very carefully in this corner and smooth that little bit out. Eliminating that little edge there don't want edges in the corner. It's a big, big no-no. Edges in the corner? What does that mean? I'm, I'm, you don't want gel I'm in the corner you. of your nail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So once I hit those, I'm just going to take my sanding band that I used for prep work on her uh, for removing her old color. And I always angle the band and come up on the edge here, just right here on the edge. And what this does is it's going to thin it out and give you a nice finished sharp edge so that the nails aren't going to look thick or anything. It also helps remove some of their natural nail right down the end. That's the natural nail that really likes to curl down. We don't want that. So this is kind of a, serves a couple of purposes. 
by um, doing that. So, and then we shall oil up. Hulk nails. Mm hmm mm hmm With the gold. Thank you, Jess. Oh, I almost started top coating over there without putting the foil on. <laughs> wow, has it been a long week? Uh, I think I think it might be a, have been, <laughs> been a long week. Let's hope everyone walks out today with nails they love. <laughs> I do. <laughs> this is a rough one. All right, here we go. All right, my friends. That is with the super fun glass over gold nugget and some gold foil. Thank you, Shayla. These are fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're going to do the other hand. We'll see you guys later.